Hello, how's it going? Today I'm talking about the psychology of money, and I still have a sore throat and bad cold. But anyways, um, this book, you can find it on YouTube, is about five hours maybe as an audiobook. It's uh, yeah, about five hours and 50 minutes. It's very easy. Um, I have a couple of things to say about books about money overall. Jim Rohn once said, if you want to be healthy, study health. If you want to be wealthy, study wealth. If you want to be happy, study happiness. So this is something very important to, to know the road, to know the method, to know, to know the know-how. But do not feel the, the joy of knowing and then without, without doing anything. So many people, so many of us, including myself, fall into this trap. There is a joy in getting the information. There is joy in reading a book, in watching the video, in attending the seminar or the lecture. But the joy itself does not make you move, does not make you do anything. So learning about the psychology, learning about um, how to do something, it's not necessarily making you motivated enough to do something. So learn, yes, but try to apply at least something from every book, from every seminar, from every, from every video. Have a plan. Have a way to get you there. Another thing also, um, understanding money is something that most of us, I think we did not study at school and parents do not talk about it. How essential is money in our lives? How do we get it? How do we save it? How do we invest in it? How do we make it? And I think because we we grew up around people do not talk about money as it's like, yeah, it's all right. We, we just finish education, get a job and live your life and that's it. We do not know how do we make it. And nowadays, I think talking about money is very, very important because, well, we don't have it <laughs> because of the financial uh, struggles that we most have because of the corona, because of the, the economic uh, downsizing, because of the lack of jobs. And so we must talk about it. We must talk about it and we must do something about it. So here are a couple of ideas that I found beneficial from the psychology of money. First of all, block time of your life for your financial security or financial stability. This idea, I think, is very important. Most of us have, most of us, those who are productive and want to do something with their lives, have a routine, a routine for your health, exercising, eating healthy, routine for education, studying, taking courses. But what is your routine for making money? You got to have a habit of making money. That routine, some people say, well, I go to work, I go to work and I make money. That's my routine. No, that's your job. Your routine for making money is the extra time. Your work is full-time or part-time, then you need an extra time. You need to block time from your day for making money. You can do something about this time. You can invest. You can invest in something you understand, like in stock market, like cryptocurrency, like real estate, like YouTube, like investing in social media and making content, like investing in your skills, learning a language for getting a better job with that language or the skill that you learn. So block time from your day for your money-earning uh, potential. Because if you're not improving, if you're not increasing your income, you are moving backwards because prices are getting high and jobs are getting much difficult and the challenge and the opportunities are getting less. So unless you are competitive, unless you are improving, unless you are working consciously for improving your income, uh, you are wasting your time. Someone told me that if you are not in doubling your salary every three years, you are wasting your time. And I've been working since 2015 as a teacher. And I asked myself this question. Did I double my salary three times, you know, since, uh, since 2015? And the answer is no. <laughs> so I have not been learning how do I do this and so I changed I learned that I should learn more languages I learned that I should use more marketing I learned that I should reach more people so this is the first idea is to learn how to block time from your day every day compounding that time for investing in yourself and to making money getting customers selling a product uh, offering a service uh, improving yourself doing something for the sake of getting better financial freedom. The second thing is saving that money. So after you learn, you have a method, you have a, a routine for making money, you have to have a routine for saving that money. And saving that money does not mean putting it uh, into your pocket or putting it in, in the house. No, it means to putting it into something useful, putting it into uh, a house, by into putting it into gold, putting it into something that has value, putting it into an apartment, into a land, into buying something, putting it into a consortium. A consortium is a way of people grouping together to uh, pay an amount each month and one of them takes it. I don't know if you understand this concept, but 
if you don't have a system for saving your money, well, you're going to have a system for spending that money. And again, another idea, which is connected to the previous one, have a block, a way to block spending that money and save that money for doing something, for buying a house, for a purpose. You are working towards a goal. You're not just saving for, for the sake of saving. No, you're working for your future because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. The last idea is investment. Now, investment is complicated for me. I'm a simplistic guy. I don't understand much of a cryptocurrency and stock marketing and the gold prices and uh, customs and so on. But I understand investing in yourself in your knowledge, in your skills. I also understand investing into uh, real estate, which requires a lot of money. The thing that I interested more about and most actually about is investing in business. Starting your own project, starting your own venture, starting your side hustle, starting your entrepreneurship, call it what you call it, but start something even if you have a job, start something on the side. I think this is essential for the future, to have something next to a job, something uh, not a hobby, it's not for fun, but it's for making extra earning, something on the side, something as part-time, something as extra time. Uh, again, selling a product, offering a service, uh, teaching something, making videos, making an extra source, an extra source of income is really important. And this source is going to have income, but after a while of investing in it, like making a YouTube channel, you can make money from YouTube. But after you have thousands and hundreds of thousands of uh, subscribers and views, you can earn, but you will not reach this number if you don't invest in the tools in the equipment in the content in the marketing, you have to learn about these three things. So first, earn, then save, then invest. I think this is just basic principles of the psychology of money. Again, I hope that you read some more and learn some more, and I hope to see you very, very soon.